Hello, thank you so much for joining us for one of our how-to guides. Today I'm going to create a couple of buttonholes, two different styles, um, but along very much the same theme using our Starburst Jib, which is our smaller headed variety. This is actually um, an extra grade one, so you get lots of flower per stem on this one. Literally just got one stem here that I've cut up into several pieces probably would make two, possibly three buttonholes out of that. So as you can see, it's quite a cost-effective flower to use for buttonholes. Not particularly labour-intensive. That's really in vogue at the moment, really on trend, um, Gypsophila, still, to be fair. <laughs> uh, so perfect for DIYers. Quite simple, rustic appearance. Really, really versatile. So yeah, might be something you want to, to have a go at for your wedding. I'm using for the first buttonhole just jib only, so really, really simple. And then for the second one, I'm going to use gypsophila and I'm going to use um, some um, Pittosporum ralphie that we've got here. The only other tools that I'm using are wires, um, parafilm, and then to finish the stems of the buttonholes, I'm using raffia, natural raffia and natural twine. Okay, I hope you enjoy. So a few top tips if you want to make your own buttonholes, and I hope I've encouraged you to do that today, is so Gypsophila is quite robust as I've mentioned before, so when you're in that receiving line and you're hugging all of your guests, the Gypsophila is going to stand up quite well compared to something like a rose or freesia, which aren't quite so durable, especially when they get squashed. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Also, the second buttonhole that I created is really eco-friendly, completely biodegradable, simply because all of the stems are natural. There's nothing wired on there whatsoever. So, as I say, completely biodegradable. 
The beauty of this one is also it could be made up the day before because you could literally just pop those stems into a small file of water or a little egg cup of water and then it can just be finished with the raffia on the morning. So that can be made up the day before. So again, a really useful thing to do to save the stress on the big wedding day. The other one that I made up, this one does have a little bit of wire involved with this. And because the stems are completely covered with the, um, with the twine, you would have to do that on the morning of the wedding. However, you could get it to the made up stage before finishing off the stem. You could do that the day before. So yeah, really cost effective. Um, really durable, perfect buttonholes for that rustic um, or perhaps you've got a festival style wedding, something like that 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 would work really well for. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what we've done for you today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you can stay in touch and up to date with everything that's going on at Triangle Nursery. We've got more tips and hints a lot more inspirational videos as well so keep watching and don't forget to share us and like us comment below and keep those questions coming and we'll answer them as best we can so thanks so much for watching today and joining us once again we look forward to opening you back again very soon bye for now <laughs>